We're going to take a look at matrix operations, um, and just the basic ones. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I just want to get you guys familiar with where they're located on the calculator. So if I hit second matrix, as you can see, I already have three matrices entered in. And so to do the basic uh, matrix operations that I've plugged into the calculator, um, you could go here and hit math. So if you noticed in the previous screen, I had a two by two. Uh, matrix and so let's try to figure out what the determinant of that two by two matrix is so I'm just going to simply select determinant okay and then I'm going to enter in by hitting second matrix the um, two by two uh, matrix and then by doing that boom it automatically does the uh, cross multiply subtract thing that we do when we do a determinant on a uh, matrix and it gives me the determinant is negative two. And so that's a simple operation. Let's try another one. Um, I showed you on the previous video how to find, um, you know, basic multiplication, adding and subtracting. But another um, really popular one to do is the reduce row echelon. We use that for solving systems of equations. And so I'll show you that. I'm sure I'll show you another one of those and another video, and I don't know if one of these will work or not. Uh, I remember I just made these up. So I'm gonna try doing it with A. And, uh, oops, we want alpha, no, second matrix, and I'm gonna plug in A. Now remember for reduced row echelon, what it does is it just leaves you with the diagonal of uh, ones, and then the last um, column should be the solution to a system. So if I had a systems of equations, and like, uh, with three variables x, y, z set equal to some constant and I had three of those equations, um, the reduced row echelon actually gives me the solution. So here's how you do reduced row echelon. Just hit enter. Oh, wow. Uh, like I said, it may not work. So as you can see here, it didn't do an exact reduced row echelon. In other words, there's no real z that you could calculate. So, um, but that's how you would do it here, okay? Uh, another thing you do is remember that when I multiply um, a matrix by two, I multiply every term in it. So, well, let me show you how that works. If I enter in matrix A, like this, and then I say two times matrix A, what happens is it will automatically multiply every element in the matrix in each row column by two, okay? That's it. Basic math operations with matrices and where they're located.